Uh, we're here with Ron Brown, who is playing Riff, the leader of the Jets in West Side Story. Thank you for coming and chatting to Dance Life today. Uh, my question is, you've been extremely employable. You've gone from Chicago to the drowsy chaperone, now you're in West Side Story. What qualities do you believe make you so employable in our industry? Right, yeah, tough question. Uh, no, I think it's, you know, like I come from a dancing background. Yeah. Uh, I trained as a dancer, but ever since I kind of got into music theatre, I've always watched the older actors and stuff and always kind of aspired to to be like them. I've never really kind of done any acting training, but through watching them, I've kind of learnt some skills and, uh, you know, instincts and things like that. And I, you know, I can sing, I've got, you know, a, a decent voice, I wouldn't say I'm yeah. a singer, but you know, when, you, when you've kind of got some skills across the board, you know, and you, you're looking at being a bit of a triple threat, yeah. it kind of does make you more employable. So that versatility a, as well. Yeah, yeah and I've got a bit of maturity over. as well, which I think helps. Um, you know, I've done a few shows. Yeah, um, how important, I mean, maturity comes up a lot in terms of casts of shows because there are a lot of cast members that are quite young. Mm -hmm. Um, that probably is another quality that you know people love about you and people that have done other shows is that maturity and that you know being proactive and being you know on time to rehearsals and not mucking around and looking after yourself. Yeah, it's really important and, and going to class. I mean, it's it's so paramount. When I when I first started in the industry, and you know I started doing gigs and music theatre and I was doing corporate stuff. You kind of think. There is a mentality that you've made it and you don't need to go off to class and stuff. There's always things that you can learn. There's always things that you can train on, you know, go to your singing lessons, go do your acting classes or whatever, you know. And I've been with friends who have been writing shows and stuff and helped them develop things. And I think that's helped me as an actor to develop skills. Sure. You know? Our rehearsals have been going for a little while now. How has this experience with West Side Story been different to the other shows that you've been on, for instance, Chicago? Um, the story, the storyline is incredible with this. Um, it's it's paramount. It's relevant today, even though it was written sixty years ago. It's every issue that we're dealing with is um, happening today, and I think the the way that Joey, the, the director choreographer, attacks it is everything is reality based. You know, he calls this a play, it's not music theatre. Because there is a certain way that you can perform music theatre, it can be pastiche, it can be a show within a show or really kind of over dramatised. This is, he's just trying to strip it all back to how, how would you, how would you say that line if you weren't acting it? Rather yeah. than I'm going to put on yeah, this, this type is, this of character. This is me as the actor doing this. Um, sure. And having that and somebody kind of guiding it and bringing it back to a personal um, relative experience, you know, he really wants it to be emotion driven. And that's quite a different way to it work. It really is a different way to work. You know, in Chicago it was set in a certain time uh, and there was still a kind of... Um, overall feel and overall image and overall look uh, that had to kind of be portrayed um, and this is just this is just real you know yeah completely you play riff like I mentioned the leader of the Jets in the show what are you bringing to the role that audiences might not have seen before uh, well, as, I was, as I was saying you know everything comes from a personal experience you yeah. know we're, we're all kind of dealing with our own fears, we're dealing with our own anger. Um, so you're really putting yourself on the line as well. Yeah, it's like, I mean, if, if there's, yeah, if there's stuff that's, that's coming out where I'm angry, it, there's, there's a reason behind it that is coming from a personal experience. And I think maybe that's, that's the difference. Last time it was done here 15 years ago, they had a different director, they had a different choreographer. And I think that's what's special about the show is, is Joey and what he's bringing and, and getting out of every single individual person on the floor because everybody is you know we've only been here two weeks yep. every single person has had something that they've had to face in that room already that's two weeks yeah. in you know. it's going to be a good show yeah uh how do you prepare physically for a touring show um and any tips for staying on top of your game during the whole the whole process there's, i mean there's a lot of things you can do my preparation coming into this was um 
you know, I was also recovering from an injury as well. So I wanted to make sure that physically I was at my peak. So I was doing, you know, six to eight classes a week. Yep. Getting into this. Um, physically, it's really important on this show, you know, and technique. We're doing ballet class for 45 minutes every day. Every day. I mean, you just have to, just to keep physically kind of in condition. But we're doing eight shows a week. I'll probably still do one or two classes a week um, yep. because your body will get used to doing the show you'll kind of start doing the same kind of warm-ups um, to get ready for the show. So you need to kind of shock your body into doing different things. <clears throat> you know, you may only do two right turns here. You need to do your left, you need to kind of, you know, have your yin and your yang. Yeah. Um, but diet is really important. You know, what you're eating. Sleep. Sleep. What you're fueling your body, you know. It's um, like, you know, this week, I'll have six great days of eating and then, you know, you have to have a scratch day. Of course. You have a burger and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you try and eat well and you try and get enough sleep and... and not party you know, too much. Not party too much. But you still need to have fun. You still need to have yeah. fun. You still need to have fun. Um, what's one piece of advice that you've been given over the years working in shows that you kind of take with you to each show everywhere you go? Um, or a few, if you've got any. Uh, I just think it's really important to listen because you can, you can come in having read the script and already have an idea in your head, great, I'm going to play it like this, it's going to be awesome, you know? Yeah. But if the director doesn't, if it's not reading or if it's not working, there's always somebody on the outside experience who is, it's their job to guide, guide you know, the show in its, sure. in its way. I think the, the most important thing is to listen and with listening you, you gain respect of your fellow actors, of your fellow performers, you listen to them, so you're kind of malleable as well. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I think just listening is probably the most important thing that you can do when you come into a room. Yeah, that's really good advice. So what, I know you've just started this, um, but what's kind of the next, where do you want to head? I don't know, what you, you know, this, this, I've had a really good couple of years. You know, I was working overseas and doing roles over there and then I came back to Australia and, and the last two years have been quite successful. Uh, and it's only been the last two years where I've really kind of taken hold of my career and gone, okay, well this is kind of where I want to head. Before that, I would just... We're taking would what take whatever came up. came up and I'd be like, okay, I'll, yeah, I'll audition for that or I'll, I'll do this gig and stuff. So, I'm not sure. You know, they're talking about maybe drowsy after this. Okay. Whether that's the right direction for me, I'm, I don't know. Yep. It depends what comes up. Um, I'd, I'd like to keep playing roles. I like being challenged. This is a challenge every day. Every day, you know, you don't come in here going, great, I, I feel good. You, it's, you're constantly challenged and having to think and, and develop and do all of that. So I'd like to do a job that is just as much a challenge, you know. Do I go off and try my hand at an acting role, yeah. straight acting? I mean, because yeah. this is, I was hired because of my dance ability but that I could sing and act. So sure. then do I put myself in a focus on a in a position where I'm I'm completely like a fish out of water and you have to sink or swim. So I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm too focused and too yeah, definitely. in depth in this job to kind of see past yeah. that. But yeah, I'd like another challenge for sure. Excellent. Alright well thanks for talking to Dance Life and thanks good luck much. with the show. Cheers.